Hi again. Hey, I see we can't wait for Rally Turtle to come and join the party. He's making his way over here. So anyways, in my last video, I showed the creation of the stencil. And, uh, you know, I used the green water-soluble white glue and dye mixture to actually paint my design, what's, what's going to print on the screen. And then I carded with red lacquer block out over the green. So now what I've done, it's been an hour or two, so I decided to work the smart way and do other things and let water do its job. So I wet these rags and then I set them on the screen and you see it's melted away most of the green water soluble block out. So you could rub on it a little bit to get it going. So what's gonna happen here is that you can kind of see on the other side, it's starting to blister up. Cause see, that's where the green block out was. So with the help of water and a little scrubber, I'm gonna get all this off. So I've worked in some of the best fine art studios so working in a driveway like this in a backyard with like nothing is kind of taking a step back, but I'm figuring it out. So for a home studio, you know what you could you could use for a washroom if you live in a one bedroom apartment or a studio apartment or you have your just little bedroom with mom and dad and your common area is a shared area like this. Our washout room could be the self-serve car wash. There's a pressure washer there, but you know, in these times we're living in right now, I kind of don't want to go and touch like touch like the nozzle and everything at the at the self-serve car wash or go anywhere unnecessary so you see what happened is it's like the force of the water sort of blistered this up so if you had a power sprayer you could blast all this stuff off but with the absence of a power sprayer I have a little green scungy pad so you want to use that to scrub and break all the block out away from the edges. So if somebody had a question about screen mesh for this process. I would like to say that for poster printing like this, 200 to 250 mesh would be good. 250 if you got like a lot of fine detail, but if you got like just bold stuff like this, 200 would work. I think this is a 250. I just grabbed it in an emergency because it was a yellow fine mesh. But the key to this process of when you paint the green water soluble medium on there, and then when you apply the red lacquer block out, do it thin. My advanced students, I made them guinea pig this process out before the shutdown. And a lot of them had a trouble because they, they either painted the green block out too thick or, and or painted or carded the red lacquer block out too thick. So if it's thick, it's going to give you a lot of trouble. But if you do both, both of those mediums nice and thin, and also too, make sure you rinse all the, the little thin block outs off of there. Because those little stray parts might actually, they're so thin, they might actually dry into, this, into the mesh and sort of give you some trouble. So check that out. I made a screen with no, no technology at all, just with my hand. And, you know, I say it looks pretty good. Before you start printing, too, you always want to check and make sure that you got any little, little snags and stuff. So it creates kind of a rough texture. You know, I took more time with the lettering than I did this demonic face here. But, you know, just give it a once over and make sure that everything's good. And if you got any little stray parts like here, like that's not supposed to be there, I can take the red block out when this is dry and fix that little dot. 
that little dot and even like make that point pointier if I choose to and get rid of any of these imperfections. But there you are. Look at that. I made a screen. All right. Thank you very much.